Welcome back to another edition of the ILN Blog Works series. This is Forrest out in St. Louis. Just want to go over a couple of things really quick in terms of setting up a menu, a blog post, and a uh, blog page. Just some quick comparisons here. Just a real short video. I got a question um, that somebody asked, and I wanted to just sort of run through this real quick and share it with the entire ILN family. Over here, you'll notice there's posts, there's pages, and there's appearance where you have your menus, you also have your post category. So I'm going to start and go over and take a look at my uh, blog menu really quick. And I want to show you this in the navigation menu. Up in your navigation menu, you've got a couple of things going on uh, that you need to be aware of. Up here in the top, you'll see I've got, this is your navigation menu. You can do quite a few things to set this up. And there should be some posts in here under blog basics. Now, you'll notice blog basics right here. This is a category that I use to put a lot of my blogs under. But what I wanted to show you is what I did was when you're inside your dashboard, you can come in here under posts, you go to post categories and you'll notice that I have blog basics as one of my categories in um, my category section. I want to add that to my menu. So I simply come over to appearance. I come down here to menus. And I'm going to come down to categories and under my categories, I can choose whichever category I want. So if I wanted to add my video marketing as a menu item to my menu, I'd simply choose this. I hit add to menu. It's going to bring video marketing into my menu. And then, of course, I can move this up and down wherever I want it to be in terms of showing up on my menu heading. I want to hit save menu to save that. Uh, video blog or video marketing as a menu item on my blog. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to refresh this. And you'll see now video marketing is now part of my menu. Now my uh, uh, navigation menu. Now here's what's really cool. Any blog post that I do that I add under video marketing is going to show up when somebody clicks on the video marketing menu. So any blog post that's related to video marketing is going to show up under video marketing. Blog basics, anything I talk about in doing blog basics like this uh, video that I'm doing now in this blog post would show up because I'm going to put it under blog basics as part of organic blog. So it's going to show up underneath the blog basics in a menu. You do not have to do this because of course you've got all your categories that are going to be over here on this side. So basically when you create that navigation menu, you're taking these categories that are here and you're moving them up to the top of your menu. Now one of the things that's very, very cool is you can also add all of these items all the way down here in the bottom and at the bottom of the page. So somebody happens to scroll all the way down, you'll see I also have the menu items down here on the bottom. So wherever somebody's at, they can click on a menu item and get to it. And just one more quick thing I want to show again, just want to review the little bit of differences between your blog posts. Here's your posts. These are your simple posts that you're going to put. Each one is going to show up on your home page. When you're actually on your home page, your blog, you click on home. All of your blog posts, as long as you have your blog set as your home page, are going to show up on your home page. And there are some other cool things you can do in terms of creating like a capture page if you want to put one of those in front of your blog or a landing page in front of your blog before somebody has to get here. That's a, in a whole nother video. So you've got your posts that are going to show up in your home page. You've got pages. Now pages are individuals. They, that's an individual page. You can only put a certain amount of contact on an individual page. Pages can do quite a few things with pages and create categories um, with, or um, you can create lead capture pages with pages. You can create opt-in pages, you can create video pages. You can create a, uh, a portfolio uh, image pages, you can create a video portfolio image pages. The page can do quite a few things, but they're a little more static than a blog page is. And of course, wherever you want those to show up on your menu, you can put those, of course, again, you can create a page and you can also add it to your menu. This is Forrest out in St. Louis, also known as the Media Dude on Facebook and Twitter. Just wrapping up another ILN Blogworks series.